between Dorna Sports, the FIM, the first one, Mick Doohan, Kenny Roberts, some famous, famous names weren't on that, Graffy Lewis, the 400th Grand Prix taken by Britain's Cal Crutchlow. Let's quickly get some pre-race thoughts of an American legend, 1993, 500cc world champion, Kevin Schwantz. Kevin, I know you've been watching closely. Give us your thoughts about this race that's about to happen. It's going to be a long race, you know. It's, it's going to be tough with the wind, especially getting off the back straightaway, getting into the first turn. You're really going to have to watch it. We've seen some mistakes in, in Moto2. Um, you know, I just hope it's a good, safe race, and there's a bunch of guys that can win. I think the Ducatis, obviously, are very fast, but I think Suzuki's really in with a good shot, too. Thank you, Kevin. Awesome, thank you. Thanks to Simon Claypar, thanks to Kevin Schwartz. The, the motto, the slogan of this great city, Austin, is keep Austin weird. Can we keep MotoGP in 2022 weird? Three races, nine different riders on the first three podiums for the first time since the early 1950s. Three different race winners. We've not had four to kick off a Premier Class season since 2008. And never in history have we kicked off a new Premier Class season with four different from manufacturers taking the victory in the opening four Grand Prix. Ducati have done it. KTM have done it. Last time out in Argentina, Aprilia did it with this man, Alessio Spargaro. Are we set for another 40 minutes or so of pure theatre, pure drama in MotoGP as we're just seconds away from the start of the Red Bull Grand Prix of the Americas? Keep an eye on that run to turn one, as I mentioned. As far as the end of the race goes, the finish line is right on the exit of this final corner. So don't expect necessarily too much action down the main straight at the end of the Grand Prix. But for so many riders on this grid, the race could be won and lost in this first.